So hello friends, today uh, we're going to clean dust of this Nikon uh, 28 millimeters 1.40 uh, rather uh, uncommon lens and then um, not a new lens and then uh, as every other lens it tends to collect, to collect dust uh, after a few years of use and then uh, here we have a, a bit of dust that we're going to remove uh, so I'm going to show you how to do it and um, need to be actually really careful because this is a rather rare and expensive lens so please proceed with caution and uh, okay so uh, what I did already I removed these screws here that hold electronics and then this plastic part just to gain time so I remove this part and then the electronics are already loose then um, we remove the screws of the bayonet just let me put this on the side and then you'll discover that cleaning this lens is uh, rather simple you only need to be careful and then very important to make sure uh, that to respect the calibration marks that have been done uh, to the lens during manufacture. Okay, so here I got the bayonet. There's one screw that I don't remove because it's the one in the screw that holds uh, all this thing in this uh, bayonet about to ring together, and then I don't need to do anything here. Okay, so here I remove this ring, and then I need to get loose these two screws here just to be able to move the electronics so I don't risk damaging it for yeah for some bad manipulation or I don't know what okay so now I can move this thing here just a bit away and then uh, I want to reach uh, the aperture blades and to do so I start here and then very important here I'm going to put gloves because we're going to manipulate this glass and then I don't want risk putting on some of my skin oil into the surface of these lenses because that would be a pain to clean. Okay, so this one, as you see, I got loose. Then this one is a bit dirty on the back. We're going to blow it just at the end when finishing the installation. Then I have this second element here that I need to remove using a spanner. Just need to get the spanner in position here. Make sure your spanner is tight properly. Got this one loose. So, as I always say, don't overuse the spanner, just use it uh, to get uh, what you have to get loose, and then everything else. Do it by hand or using your rubber cones or something that doesn't risk scratching the glass. Okay, so this here and here. Then I have this last element here that I cannot reach with my spanner. Well, at least these tips I have. So I have to put pointy ones. So in here, 
extremely important make sure that the tips of your spanner are really 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 in, in place because I have seen tips falling into the glass and then this is something you don't want so every time I make sure was already some dust there that was really really annoying okay and then I just need to get here the grip here I have here is rather small so I have to proceed with caution okay got it loose get the last length loose I know I know this is taking a lot of time but believe me guys this is rather stressing because I don't want to damage anything in this lens because this is not the kind of thing you call someone and say hey can you get me this spare part of this lens no Reach the center, then okay. So, um, the dust usually gets into the lens and uh, through the aperture uh, here this aperture lever which is the only part uh, which is not sealed uh, between uh, the optical assembly and then yeah in time during the years you get some dust that gets through through there so okay I have an ugly hair here that has been nagging me since uh, probably three days that I got this lens for repair because the initial repair I had to do on this lens was uh, to uh, replace the AM ring so if you're interested you can probably check that video too and then yeah I decided to go with a full cleaning of the lens So oh, yes. Okay. Okay, that was quite simple, I would say. So now I just need to get this lens. I just need to tighten it just small bit because oh, I forgot to tell it and this copy I have here uh, there is uh, three marks there that you can probably see just let me zoom a bit there's three marks there and then each mark indicates the position of uh, one of the of the groups that we just have removed actually in the beginning I didn't understood why there were there was three marks but then when I started removing the stuff for cleaning, I understood the why of those, uh, those marks. Okay. We have one here, then... so I just got dirty here a bit so I use microfiber cloth just to clean the rim here this way I am using gloves 
otherwise I think I will be leaving traces of my fingers everywhere. Okay, that's it. Then I proceed with putting the second element here. Everything is going fine. I am not stressed at all. Everything is going quite fine, I would say. Just let me check that no particle does cut in. No, looks very clean now. Okay, so again, uh, I need to change my tips. tips here and then okay again I check that around they are really really tight and now put them in position firmly and then I rotate the body of the lens okay good second stage done everything so far so good um, my microfiber cloth just to clean the ring here because I think I touch it with my fingers okay and then last element here we blow we blow we blow we blow we blow everything and we put in Okay, looks really nice now. So, oof. Okay, oof. I think I feel a lot better now. Then I just finish, tighten it to the right position. Let me just wipe here the surface, which is not very clean. And then Okay, the lens looks beautiful. Then there is obviously some uh, micro pieces of dust. But then it is a lot cleaner than before. Uh, then I can proceed to reattaching the electronics here. This screw. And then I guess the owner, the guy who sent me this lens for repair, will be extremely happy because I think he got it for a quite good price because it was dirty. And then um, this ring here was broken, so he got a metal one that I replaced. Um, And then, yeah, he will be very, very, very happy with getting his lens. 
back and he promised to me that I was able to play with the lens for a while so I think tomorrow I'm going to enjoy the lens a little bit and then obviously I'm going to send it to his owner so he can enjoy well I will try to to buy it from him and see if he accept, accepts a deal out of it I don't think so but we can always hope okay up okay this is it and then we put need three screws for the bayonet and then I think I can leave you guys with this because the end of the video is just trivial I just wanted to show you how to proceed as uh, you saw it's a rather stressful uh, procedure and you just need to be extremely careful wear gloves uh, avoid touching the lenses just blow don't try to clean what is in dirty because I have had I have had trouble many times with this because I want to clean and then uh, I spend two hours trying to uh, yeah to correct something because there is traces there is something yeah that's it okay so that's all for today thanks for watching and see you next time uh.